Hi guys, this is Jamie from System22 and GreatWebDesign.com. Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to show you how to import and export modules from the Divi theme and how to save them and reuse them. So here's our site. If we go to our dashboard or to our page, here's our layout. At the bottom here we've created a footer. I'll just pop back to the site and show you there. Here's the footer. And we're going to want to reuse this footer on other pages. So here's our footer. What we need to do is save this whole module here. You can save individuals if you want to, but I'm going to save the whole module. save and add to library. We'll give it a name. And we'll save it and add it to our library. Now if we create a new page, Use the Divi Builder. I'll just use one of their pre made ones. Doesn't matter which. And it's put in its default settings there for us with that page. Now, all we need to do is hit the little Add from Library to add our saved section. There it is. There's our footer. Let's just have a look at that. And preview our changes. And there's our footer that we've loaded in there. Now here's another little tip. Once you've saved your module, say you want to change it and it's on 15, 20 pages, you don't want to go through each page and have to keep changing it again. Um, so you can make it a global item. Let's just add something in there. stand out a bit. We'll make it red. Now if we save this module again, we'll save it as something we'll make it a global item. Now if we go back to our original page, and let's get rid of this one and put our new one in there. There it is. Now if we just have a look at that, it should be exactly the same as the other one. What we're going to do is we're going to change a few things of it and go back and see that, see that it's changed it on the other one as well. So if we go down, let's edit this module. Before we do that, I'll just show you. Here's our front page with our little bit of new content. 
and here's the new page we created with our new footer content in there. Now let's just change some of this text. Just put the word changed after it. This is really useful, like I say, if you've got 15, 20 pages with the same thing on it, it'll save you updating all the pages. And I'll just update that. And preview our changes. Now, as you can see, it's changed that the new content changed. Now, if we go to the other page as well and do a refresh, it should change it on this page as well. There we go, it's changed it on there. And that that's a great feature for multiple sites and all kind of things, multiple page edits. Now, say if we've got another site we want to use this same footer on, what we can do is we can export it. Just go to the Divi library. And select the one we want to export, a new global footer. We want to export it. We only want to export the selected items. This in this particular instance, you can export all of them if you want to. And there we are, it's exported it down here for us. So once you've got it and you've saved it, you've got, I've just opened the location where it is, so I know where it is. Let's go to a new site. Okay, so we're, here we are in the new site. What I want to do is import that footer and use it on our site here. What I'm going to do is I'll get rid of that default Elegant Themes footer right there. It's very easy to do if you watch my other videos. We'll just go to Theme Options and add a little bit of CSS. to remove that is footer bottom hashtag open and close curly brackets and display none none and save our changes now if we go back to our page this should disappear. Um, Elegant Themes, Divi likes to have that there. Obviously, it's great advertising for them. But if you don't want it, that's the way to get rid of it. And we just do a refresh, and that should be gone. There we are. It's no longer there. So back to our options page, and we'll add our footer from the other site. So if we go to the Divi library again, import and export. This time we want to import. Now we can just choose our file. And we'll browse to that one we saved earlier on. This is where it saved it earlier. I'm just selecting the file. I'm going to hit open. And there it is there. Now we just hit the import Divi Builder Layouts button. Okay, it should have imported it for us. There it is. Now if we go back to our page and we'll edit it. Now 
add at the bottom. We'll add from library. And we'll put in our new footer global again, same one as we had before. Now, if we do an update, and preview our changes, and scroll down, our little footer should be at the bottom there. There it is, there's our footer that we used in our other site. Here's our other site, there's the footer, and we've got the exact same one on our new site. So that's how to import and export modules from the Divi theme, and also how to save them and make them global. I hope that's been useful to you. Once again, this is Jamie from System22 and GreatWebDesign.com. Have a great day. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to our channel.